Good morning, my name is Boris and welcome to beautiful Koh Tao Island in Vietnam. In the previous video, I visited the biggest attractions in the Koh Tao Archipelago. On my second day, I set out to explore the beaches of an island called Tain Lan that I previously knew nothing about. We have around five hours on this island and just to use our time efficiently I think it's a good idea to have somebody to take us around kind of like a tour guide just to manage our time and not get lost because it's actually kind of a big island there are lots of roads there are some like villages it's not a touristy island at all so so yeah I'm curious how the beaches will look because um, the homestay owner yesterday showed us some some photos about some of the beaches and uh, they looked really nice i think the weather will be great i think if it's gonna be half as good as it was yesterday then uh, we will have a great time i think the beaches will look really nice we're going to go around by motorbikes this mini van just uh, took us to like one stop it's kind of in the middle of the island and we are going to pick up some motorbikes here we will go around the island starting from here that was just like a 10 minutes uh, mini van drive this beach is nothing special there are some palm trees though that's uh, interesting but yeah they are not natural because there are only like i think four of them <laughs> so, yeah but anyway um it's not a bad stop i think the sun is probably coming out June. There's like a military parade kind of thing with like naval ships. It's still possible for tourists to come. I'm not sure if they would allow foreigners. I didn't really ask about that. It's for locals no problem I'm sure but I guess it could be interesting. It's a very very beautiful beach. Um, a little bit dirty but that's that's because of the wind and because of the waves because that's really like just the open sea in front of us so so the waves take a lot of trash onto the beach but it's actually not that bad so I've seen beaches in worse conditions so yeah that's a that's a nice spot this is not exactly a beach it's just a protected bay I just stopped at the side of the road it kind of feels like a lake so here the water is super calm and, and very very clear the road is at a higher elevation and there's no like stairs or can't really go down get near but I think you can you can see what I'm talking about and yeah it's just like super peaceful you can only hear the wind a little bit and the gentle waves lapping on the shore yeah, it's just so, so nice. There is literally nobody around. Wow, <laughs> what a ride. So the, the road ended and there was just a tiny path. It was really rocky at some point. And the, the plants just really like overgrown the whole path. and. Wow, but check out the beach. It's kind of rocky and sandy at the same time. Honestly, it's uh, very impressive. I really like how remote some beaches are. There's like really zero development on, on these beaches, for example, on this side of the island because because there's no road and I really like how natural the whole island is it's totally green inside I saw some like rice fields there was a lake kind of like mountains okay not mountains but hills and the, everything is green really cool just look at look at the stretch of sand with the with the green 
background. I think I think it's really pretty. Truly, this is this is a very impressive place, and I think it's only unknown because of the location. You know, it's quite unfortunate when we talk about you know the tourism development point of view because it's quite far from main tourist attractions in Vietnam. But yeah, it's it's a unique experience. It's a really nice place. I think I think you can agree with me on that, right? I'm going to write down the name of the beach in the video. I'm not 100% sure about the name right now, uh, but this is the one that's closest to the port and it's kind of shallow as you can see there there are some like children playing in the water and it has some trash as you can see here that's a problem everywhere unfortunately it's not that bad and the water is actually very clear check out how empty everything is and it's pretty big wow check the water It feels very remote even though this beach I saw maybe like 15 people on the beach but, but it's super long as you can see I'm walking uh, around and there's like literally nobody else here on this side for example so that's a really nice find I think days like this actually yeah I said the same thing yesterday but that's also true because the, the two islands yesterday were really awesome the beaches I've seen if you haven't seen that video you have to check it out because it's from another area of this Koto archipelago so yeah I will say it again these are the days worth traveling for these are the places I enjoy exploring the most and and right if you if you are the same if you share the same mindset then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to show you more amazing places just like this one Here is a stop I, I made just on the side of the road because this is a really nice looking beach. Kind of, I think it's an island because I tried to go near, there's a road that goes like parallel, but I think the road doesn't really go to that island. It's actually very near to this main road. Just wanted to show you how awesome this whole island is because there are so many spots. There's one area with some like, a tiny sand bank just near the main island and there are some other islands every single one of them has a lot of trees on them so everything is very natural there are no beach hotels or no development and yeah there's basically nobody around there's some dogs here are some like people's homes but just a few uh it's not even a village i guess it's just like two or three houses on the side of the road so yeah this is an interesting place i just wanted to show you this spot as well Thank you.